please subscribe to my new YouTube channel, Kayla Bruss Draws. The link is in the description. Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Draw. Today I'm gonna show you how to draw a gorilla. And this guy has a lot of like muscle, so there's a lot of curved lines that go different directions. So I would definitely start with pencil if you're not super confident with this one. But this one's a lot of fun, so we're just gonna get started right away. We're gonna start with the head in kind of the upper left corner. And you're going to make a line that kind of curves up and back over for the head. And then we'll start on the left. We're gonna have a line that curves out and it does the same on the other side. Right here where these two curves connect, we're gonna draw a curve line for an ear. So we'll do that on each side. And then we're going to start drawing the shapes for the body. I'm gonna start right here. You're gonna have a line that kind of curves over. That's like the shoulder area. And let's go right below where the ear is. This line is going to curve a little bit. It's for that front arm. And then right below this, where we stop, it's gonna kind of first curve out and then back in pretty quickly. And we want to make a curve line connecting that. We'll worry about the hands and the feet after we get like the basic shapes down. So we got that. Let's go over um, either, you might do right below the ear, but for me, I'm gonna imagine this line kind of curves down and right about there, I'm gonna make a line that first goes up and down a little bit and then curves sharply for the chest. So it starts by kind of just going a little bit and then it curves way under for the chest. And then we're going to go back over to this line and now we're gonna go right from here and it's going to go straight across for a little ways and then curve down. Now we're gonna work on the back leg and this one has um, a few like extra muscles and curves in it. So go a little ways over from this curve we just did and we're gonna make a curve line that's like the opposite. So this one curves this way to the right, the other one's gonna curve to the left. So curve out that way. I'm gonna make this a little longer to match. And then we're gonna make another two set of curved lines, but at the bottom, they're gonna get close. So it bumps out and then goes in, bumps out and then goes in and see they're pretty close now. These two I'm gonna attach with another little curved line. Now let's get the belly. So imagine this continues over and you're just gonna have a line that curves up like that. Then we're gonna do the back leg. So um, kind of like right about here. So right above the, where these two connect. I'm gonna have a line that just is kind of straight, but it's at an angle. And then um, Think about how thick this is, and that's how thick the other leg will be. So I'm gonna go right about here and just kind of have it curve a little bit towards, so they're close-ish, and then we'll make that curve line where they connect. So the back leg is kind of stepping out, and then we'll do the front leg, and then the feet and the hands. So right here, let's have a line that just angles out a little ways and stops. And then um, about here, it's gonna get closer and closer and closer pretty fast. A little curve attaching it. So right now it looks funny with no feet and hands, so let's fix that. We'll do the feet first. We'll start with this one. On this side, it's gonna go out a ways and then curve under. And on the back, it's just a little curve for the heel. On the front now, do two or three curved lines to show the toes. On this side, because he's stepping out, I'm gonna have this one kind of curve down. And then the back again is just a curve for the heel. And I'm gonna do, yeah, the two curves for the toes. For the hands though, these are not gonna look the same at all. They're gonna be pretty different. So start kind of right at the bottom of this curve and you're gonna go out, angle up, angle back. 
So it's kind of like a blocky, it's kind of a square rectangle shape. And then right here, just so just below the top of that hand, just below it, you're gonna make kind of a rectangle shape that doesn't connect. That's like the finger um, curled under. Then on this one, goes down, cross, over, back. And again, we're gonna do that kind of rectangle that doesn't connect all the way. And then we have to, of course, do um, some lines on the chest. So let's start right here. It's kind of like a blocky circle. So see how some of the sides I made a little bit more straight? And then the other side, this is like the, the pecs, I think. <laughs> They're very muscular. And then I'm gonna give him like these little lines for like abs. And then there's a line here for the belly. And then of course, we gotta work on the face. So imagine if there was a line straight across here where these two curves connected. Right in the middle, I'm gonna do a curve like that and two little nostrils. And then I'm gonna do kind of a oval circle shape with a slightly curved line for a smile. And then starting right about here, so a little bit to the left of the nose, I'm gonna have a line that curves up, back, and up, and back. So it's kind of, I guess, like a heart shape, you know, if you continued. Um, but see how it goes up and then down and back up again. Now I did the eyes kind of realistic on mine. Of course you could do more cutesy eyes, um, but they have a really furrowed brow. So I'm gonna first actually do the eyebrows. He's kind of got angry eyebrows. That's just how they, they look. Furrowed brow. And then a curved, line on each side. I'm gonna do a little highlight, but not a huge one because I'm trying to make it more realistic. And then just fill in the black. And uh, up here I'm gonna do two little lines to just show the furrowed brow. And with that I'm all done and now I'm just gonna color it in. I'm gonna make mine look more realistic so I'm just gonna use black and gray today. All right, and I'm all finished with my gorilla. I think that this one's really fun to draw, and I know it can be a little tricky, so you might wanna practice, maybe draw a couple different times. And if you like it, you could look up some different poses too. I would love to see how yours turned out, so feel free to send me an email with your picture to kaylabrustdraws at gmail.com. The link is in the description, and I will see you guys next time for our next drawing video. Bye.